Hi, I'm Peter Kalmström of Kalmström.com Business Solutions. In this demonstration, I'll show you how to work with a timeline. This is one of the features over there in the Insert tab of um, Excel, which is where most of the good stuff is actually located. So what I'm going to do first is uh, format this as a table. You always do that. It brings out a lot of functionality. And then I'm going to summarize that with a pivot table on a new sheet. That's fine. And then I'm going to just put the volumes in values there. Make that a bit easier to read by putting a comma separator or the comma style so that I can see the, the millions here that it's actually 429 millions. And then I'll just look at that based on the center. As you see, the, the third value here is the date. And I could, of course, put that on filters and get filtering like this. That's the traditional way of doing it and you can have all the dates there and you can even do grouping and stuff like that but i'm not going to do that now i'm just going to remove that there and instead i'm going to insert one of those timeline and i'm just going to select the timeline and that's the date field of course as you see i can now format this in a few different styles but the important thing here is really that what i can do with this thing let's bring it down here so we can have a bit more space for it and now if I scroll back and forth here, now you see the timeline. And as you see, I have a few years here. So if I click on a month here, then you, I see I get filtering based on that month. So that's a very easy way to work with this data here. And you'll notice that I can also drag around this data here by holding down the mouse key. If I take these selectors at the left and the right side, I can extend the range here. And as you see, of course, I'm getting a selection here. I can do this by quarters instead. That makes it easier to work with, maybe, if that's more relevant for me. Or I can do it by years, like that. And I can just select this range there and maybe go into 15. So I think the timeline feature is rather nice. And as you see, all you need to do is make sure that you actually have a date field. And then you simply insert the timeline and format it so that it works with um, your screen size. And that concludes this demo. Thank you for watching.